Welcome. In this video we'll show you how you can easily improve your Shopify product page. Let's start with the very basic setup. Here you see the latest Dawn theme installed. Let's navigate to the product settings. Here is a simple product that we have just created. It has six images attached and two color variants defined. Note how each variant has a proper image assigned to it. Now let's have a look at the product page for this product. This is the default theme gallery. As you see, it's just a grid of images. Let's improve this by installing our gallery app. Now we are going to find our app in the App Store. You can also use the link in the description. Let's add the app and accept the installation. Let's proceed to the configuration page. We are going to select the basic plan for now. Click enable app and wait for a few seconds. Now we need to make sure the app is properly applied to the theme. Open your storefront and navigate to the product page. As you can see on the video, the old gallery is replaced with our slider. You can click on the arrows and swipe on the phone to change slides. Now let's try the pro plan. We will need to upgrade first. Approve it and wait for a second. Now we can enable the pro plan. Let's check how it looks now on the store. We can see the thumbnails and updated arrow style. The installation completed. Let's get back to the configuration page and briefly explain some of the options. Here is a full wide option to reveal nearby slides. Here's an option to show thumbnails on the left side, but it only applies to desktop. Under the bullets tab, you can change the look and feel of the thumbnails. For example, the adaptive option will make the thumbs keep aspect ratio of its image, while the basic thumbs always stay squared. You can easily try all these options and see the effect in the right demo preview section. Below you can customize the colors. Let's check the next configuration tab. Here you can select one of four different types of arrows and customize the colors as well. Now let's check the zoom configuration tab. Enable the zoom on click option if you want your customers to be able to open the gallery full screen. And zoom on hover option helps your customers on desktop to quickly zoom in by moving a mouse pointer. The next tab is more advanced and requires a bit of setup that we are going to cover in the next video. And here is the last tab. You can disable the videos from the slider by unchecking this option. And the second option allows you to play videos in a pop-up. Now let's apply all the options that we have selected. Look, everything works as we have configured. There's one last thing I'd like to show you in this video. Sometimes things might not work right out of the box. For example, here on the video, we have just enabled the app, but there's no effect. First of all, try wait for a few seconds and reload the page. So we have just checked the store and we have found out that the app is not working. Let's click get help. 
At this point our support team is notified about your problem. After checking your store we will notify you in the chat or by email. Here is the support chat. You can always send us a message here or see our replies. You will hear back from us usually the same work day. Thanks for watching. I hope the video was helpful.